So as we continue our journey of Paper Mario the Origami King, we now enter the yellow streamer area, Sweet Paper Valley. Now, I'll be honest, yellow was my favorite color back in the day. I really don't have a reason why. I think because of the sunshine or something. I don't know why I picked the sun as the reason for my favorite color. I wasn't very smart back in the day. And I'm still not very smart now. Oh, I also really don't know what happened. All of a sudden, my confetti just turned into these rose petals. Uh, maybe I'm contesting The Bachelor nowadays. You know, I need to get some tips on how to improve my dating profile from me. So it actually turned into... Oh, shit, it's emo guy. You gotta love how he just flicks his hair, too. Oh, he definitely likes his hair too much. Yeah, that's right. He's stolen all those toads. That's what I used to do back in the day. We just grabbed a bunch of toads, and, you know, they were fun to catch. They were fun to catch. You know, I don't blame Ollie. He has fun activities. He's got fun hobbies. Ollie doesn't like your new friend, Olivia. You know, I gotta say, if a brother doesn't improve your friend, you probably gotta look for a new boyfriend. Yeah, you probably should listen to him. Okay, this is a little rough. That's a... That is a rocky way to explain that to her. I think you went a little too far, Ollie. Have no fear, Captain Useless knows how to save Olivia. What is his big plan? Leave her behind. Bobby, what are you getting at here? Bobby's big solution is to go to the Wind Waker, the Great Sea. Why we're switching to Legend of Zelda, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm not arguing. I like those games. Oh, I see what he's getting at. Bobby wants to go on vacation, he wants to go to a cruise ship. Well, I have you know, cruise ships are not doing that well. Why are they marooned in the middle of the ocean? Exactly. If you ask someone who's on the Diamond Princess, they are not happy with you, Bobby. I don't know if you heard, these cruise ships got taken over by this virus. Completely destroyed the industry. Completely destroyed it. Now, I'm actually enjoying playing through this level. But god damn it, Bobby. Oh, you do have to fall asleep. Look, it's a fun level. You don't have to mock me like this stuff. You know, as bosses goes, this guy isn't very good. He attacks slowly and I can easily jump and then damage him. And then he just kind of gives me hearts when I'm done, so even if I get hit a few times, I just replenish my health and we're back to normal. Oh, don't worry, Bobby's big plan was to eventually return to save Olivia. You know, it only took that much time. Wasn't really that... The fuck are you... What are you doing, man? Is he about to blow up? The dude's about to sacrifice himself to save Olivia. He's committing suicide. This is an E-rated game, right? Yeah, I think it's, it's an E-rated game. And we have suicide in it. Holy shit, what kind of direction is Paper Mario going these days? Wow. Yeah, I don't get it either. I, I don't know what they're doing either. I don't know why they have a suicide thing in here. You know, one day Bowser takes over, you know, the company and boom, boom now. We're, we're dark, we're, Nintendo's a lot darker now. Uh, we gotta transition out of this. How are we gonna take care of that? Another warned me about getting into cars with strange men. This isn't a car. I don't know how the fuck the video went here. I'm just following Paper Mario does. See, that's right. I can do a great parking job. Why can't those assholes do a great parking job? Why does everyone in the world have to park over the fucking lines? Park in the lines! So you wanna get launched, eh? Well, have no fear. I got your back, pal. God damn it. Okay, let me try this again. Let me try this again. Let me try this one more time. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, rough landing. Look at all the shit he dropped me. That guy right here? Yeah. Homie. We welcome you to stay at the Sniff City Royal Hotel. It is the greatest spot for the next vacation you go on, which might be in five years, as it makes no sense to go on vacations right now. They have a pool that is easily drained by just one wise guest. Their very courteous staff will recommend you sleep in the desert if they don't have any vacancy, which I believe they have all of five rooms. And in those five rooms, their staff doesn't even know who's staying in which room. That's why the Sniff It City Royal Hotel will get... Ah, the Sniff City Royal Hotel, a truly inspiring place where you can enjoy your next vacation. So do you think this guy will be tough to beat? Oh, he's gonna be a doozy, he's gonna be a doozy. But I know the secret, you have this little bootmobile so you can easily drive away- Oh, shred me a new one. Although again, with these goddamn big bosses, you hit, just hit them a little bit, they do a little damage, they give you like 50 health back. So it doesn't matter if you get hit, you just revive your health instantly. I don't know why. Yo, who's that, is that? Oh, hey, it's the professor! Remember me? Very clear! Hey, Professor! Aww. Step back! I think I'm gonna vomit! <laughs> I am glad I got this Professor on my team. He is a lot more lethal. See, he actually digs up money to destroy multiple enemies, not just casually walk into one of them, Bobby. <sighs> R.I.P. Bobby. May you rest in peace. Okay, the Professor's just as useless as you, Bobby. So who's the guy staying in this room again? God damn it, Luigi took the key again. 
Luigi's one job is to get the goddamn key to get into Peach's castle, and he just keeps ruining my adventure. Where's that son of a... We know the son of a bitch is. Okay, what's this little game we gotta play? Alright, let's just throw real quick, throw real quick. Yeah, good, sacrifice all your freedom, you know, it's a good decision. And jump in there and go give Luigi a new one. Luigi, you're like that annoying pimple that just will never go away. Why the fuck do you keep doing this to me, man? Why do you keep doing this to me, man? This game over is completely worth it because I gotta give you a lecture, pal. You did not make a wise decision. God damn it, we let him loose. Now he's gonna keep wrecking me for the rest of life. <sighs> Alright, Luigi, but we gotta set the ground rules. You gotta learn how you're gonna operate right now. First, you're gonna give me the key, that's good. But you gotta learn, you gotta support me, man. You gotta do something for the team. If I may make a suggestion, the next time you're gonna make a decision, think of the exact opposite thing that you could do from that decision, and that's thing you should execute. That's most likely gonna be the- <laughs> Oh, I love how number 69, that treasure, is actually just a dildo. Well, that's funny. But still, Luigi, if you have a chance to make a decision, just do the exact opposite of it, I think it's gonna execute out perfectly. That is probably the way to- The fuck? No, 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 we're not gonna- we're not gonna- So what's your play here, Shy Guys? How are you gonna stop me? Oh, yes! We're gonna light you on fire, and you're gonna run in circles and hope you hit me. Well, you know, why is suicide such a theme right now? This is Z-rated, right? We sure this is Z-rated? So I was the master of hunting toads in the last video, and there's four of them in this area, so we got- Damn it. Alright, let's try this again. So now there's still, I think, a 1 in 3 chance I can find it. Oh, Alright, it's Paper Mars. I wrote down on my little piece of paper that I have a 1 in 2 odds to- Stop finding the pokey! Well, I know there's four in this section, and like, so we're down to the last one. So hopefully we get the toad here. Ugh, I had to fight so many- IT'S ANOTHER ONE! Real talk, I do like how we go to the desert. I remember like back in the dry, dry desert in the original Play Mario game. It wasn't that much exploring desert to try to find the ruins. In this game though, it is quite the adventure. You gotta find a bunch of jewels and put them in the right towers to unlock the temple. I must say, I actually really enjoy this part of the game. Last jewel's a bit of a bitch to find, but I did really enjoy this. Mario didn't. He didn't make it. He died from all this. Yeah, I'll be honest, Toads. I don't know what you guys did back in the day, but it was odd. It was odd. Hey, Professor, if you don't mind, just spend your time reading this. Yeah, just read this for a little bit. I'll go solve the puzzle. I'll go do everything. This is actually a great technique if you're in a group project and you're with someone who's completely stupid. Just have them go read something, waste all their time, and go execute the project. So they will not have a chance to screw it all up. A very wise decision for all you out there in high school or college projects that are going to go terrible. The ancient temples, they got to have all kind of booby traps in here. We have to be careful. They're gonna be like swinging. There's a shy guy hitting me with the van. That wasn't a very ancient trap I just fell for. This poor guy wanted to play a game of Who Got Your Nose. And he was the first one to ever lose. In most Nintendo games I've played, when you ascend to the top of a temple or like a pyramid type temple, you usually come across to where the ancient treasure room is. You might have to fight the boss there. Instead, we found the dance floor. How did we find the dance floor? But the dance floor had no people in it, so we have to go around with a bunch of toads, using our boombox, running around this ancient temple. And now we can truly have a party. If Acid was a video game, it 100% would be Paper Mario the Origami King. And out of all the people, who's gonna be the party pooper? A hole puncher, of course. The die, the da 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 at least the hole puncher likes the beat, so you know, we're gonna keep this going, hole puncher. We're gonna keep the beat going. If you don't mind, just, you know, beat the dick of the dog. You want the beat, you want the beat. Yeah, I like the beat. I know you like the beat. Ah, I think you like the beat a little too much. He's about to blow up. Yep, he exploded. You know, we used to fight bosses like Duplis and the Koopa Bros, and now we're beating up hole punchers. That right there is yellow streamer level in Paper Mario the Origami King. I have no idea what the fuck they're gonna do to top this one. 